dear students welcome to the class of business mathematics and in this video i am going to discuss about break even analysis this is very important topic to understand so first of all let us discuss break even chart so in this diagram or in this chart we are going to sketch two functions this one is our cost function y that we denote by y and this line is the uh, line of revenue function so here we see a new function um, revenue function that we did not discuss in our previous class so let me first define the revenue function so revenue is equal selling price per unit times quantity and selling price per unit you can simply say price per quantity price into quantity and price is denoted by small p and quantity is denoted by small x and revenue is denoted by capital R so if you write this one in functional form then it will be r of x since revenue depends on x here price will be constant and x is the number of quantity so revenue depends on x therefore this means r is a function of x or r depends on x so in functional form we can write revenue equal price times quantity small p x and we already know uh, a function from our previous lecture which is total cost function that is denoted by y is equal mx plus c and we know y is the total cost y is the total cost and mx is the variable cost and c is the fixed cost where m itself indicates marginal cost or variable cost per unit and x is the number of units so here also you see y depends on x because m and c are constants so in functional form we can write y as a function of x which is equal mx plus c so this is our total cost function or simply we can say this is a cost function so from these two functions we can define another new function which is profit function and profit is equal revenue minus cost revenue minus cost or total cost and profit is denoted by capital P and r is revenue is denoted by capital r and c is denoted by small y you can define cost by capital c this is also fine some book they may denote cost by this function but since we denote total cost function by y so uh, it is not a problem if you define if you put small y for cost so this implies p will be a function of x because r is a function of x or r depends on our x and y also depends on x so this one will be our new function profit function and similarly we can also define a loss function and in that case loss will be uh, cost minus revenue which is equal lx is equal yx minus rx but this function maybe we don't need because if your profit is negative then it will indicate a loss it will indicate a loss so note that negative profit note that negative profit indicates a loss negative profit 
indicates indicates a loss therefore you don't need loss uh, function suppose if you calculate profit and you find that your profit is negative 3000 or 2000 so which indicates which indicates a loss of a loss of $2,000 thousand dollar when you say loss then you don't need to put this negative sign because this negative sign indicates a loss so now let us graph the break-even chart or break-even diagram this graph is known as break-even chart or break-even diagram and let us um, put the axis notation this is our x axis and this is our y axis as well as as well as revenue axis since we are plotting two graph two lines here or two function and you see both function cost function and revenue function they are linear function so first let us try to understand how can we graph it we know y equal to mx plus c in this equation c is y intercept it means this distance this distance is y intercept c the distance from origin to the point where the cost line initiates is the y intercept so if y equal to mx plus c then this distance is y intercept and m is the slope of this line slope or gradient of this line equal m of the cost line and again the revenue function which will always passes which will always passes through the origin and it will start from the origin and in the case of x here x is the number of units number of units or number of products and x cannot be negative therefore revenue line will start from the origin in other way you can see that y equal to mx plus c c is the y intercept but in r there is no c so there is no y intercept it means revenue line will start from the origin there is no y intercept for the revenue line and the slope of this line slope of revenue line is p now if you compare cost line and revenue line you see the revenue line is more steep than the cost line it means the slope of the revenue line is greater than the slope of the cost line and p indicates selling price per unit m indicates cost per unit variable cost per unit so it, it should be greater than uh, p should be always greater than m now the point where two lines intersect each other is the break even point break even point where revenue line and cost line intersect each other is the break even point and you see uh, from if you initiate from x equal 0 then this distance is the loss of the company this is the fixed cost and if there is no production then this fixed cost will be the loss total loss however if company produce some amount of product let's say 1000 units then the company will be still in loss because this y this y is greater than this r so when y greater than r it means in this region in this region y will be greater than r it means there is a loss so this region is known as loss region and at this point 
the let's say the break this is called break even quantity let's say break even quantity is 2500 units so when x equal to 2500 units then company will be the break the revenue line and cost line will intersect each other it means there is no loss no profit at this point so break even point is a point where profit equal zero profit equal zero or loss equal zero since we are uh, we are we want to um, restrict our discussion with the profit function so let me put profit equal to zero at the break even point so when you cross this point you see in this area the revenue r is greater than y so there is profit in this area so this region is known as profit region so the company if uh, if produces more than 2500 units of product let's say 3000 units then the company will be in profit and this is the profit if you subtract y from r then you will get profit for 2000 units this distance there is a r there is a value of r and there is a value of y so if you subtract y from r then you will get profit for 3000 units and this distance is the profit if you produce let's say 5000 units then this distance is the profit for 5000 units of product and there is there is an r and there is a y so r minus y this r this r minus this y will make a profit for 5000 units of product because if you sketch a perpendicular line from here from here then parallel which is parallel to the y axis then this distance this distance from here to here at this point this is the profit for 5000 units so in this diagram we are looking for four items first of all you need to sketch your cost function and second you need to sketch your revenue function and the point they intersect each other is the break even point the coordinate of this point will be like this and x there is the x coordinate y is the y coordinate and sometimes you need to also show another line which is fixed cost line and which is parallel to the x axis and initiates from the y intercept from 0 c point so now let us try to understand and break even chart by using a simple example here let's say variable cost per unit is one dollar and fixed cost two dollar therefore our cost function will be variable cost per unit one dollar so x and fixed cost two so m equal to one so the coefficient of x equal to one and selling price per unit which is three dollar therefore our revenue function will be p into x and here p equal to three 3x so the profit function will be p equal r minus y we know and that will be 3x minus x plus 2 which is equal 3x minus x minus 2 and this equal 2x minus 2 so this is our profit function we have three functions cost function revenue function and profit function and why we need profit function because in order to calculate break even quantity we need profit function and since uh, at the break even point profit equal to zero at break even at break even point profit equal to zero and profit function which is equal 2x minus 2 this equal zero and from here 2x equal to 2 therefore x equal to 1 so x equal to 1 is our break even quantity 
therefore the break even point will be if you put x equal to 1 either revenue line or cost line then you will get y coordinate or r coordinate of the break even point let us put x equal to 1 here or here y will be y or r they will be same therefore break even point the coordinate of break even point will be x coordinate 1 and y coordinate if you put 1 here it will be 3 so in order to sketch cost line and revenue line you need only one point break even point because the other point the revenue line will start from origin and the break even point let's say one two three this point so this is your break even point one and three and now you can you can draw your revenue line and cost line will start from y intercept which is two one two so this is the point where cost line will initiate and this is the point where revenue line will initiate and both of them passes through this point so now you can easily sketch cost line and revenue line so this is your cost line and this line is your revenue line so this is your revenue line and you can show the revenue function r equal uh, 3x and cost function y equal x plus 2 y equal x plus 2 and both of them intersect each other at this point 1 3 so this is your break even point break even point which is 1 3 and break even quantity which is x equal to 1 and another line is the fixed cost line we'll start from this point and which is parallel to the x axis so if your question tells you to draw the fixed cost line then you can show it otherwise you don't need this line fixed cost line so that's it this is your break even diagram or break even chart and that's the end of this lecture in my next lecture i will discuss more examples regarding break even analysis so thank you very much for your listening